<laughs> okay, we're back. Okay. Part two. Okay. Um, I have to say one of my favorite parts of this whole book, and this is the whole book because I've read the whole book, is Ian with um, um, Hermione and, and the t- with the two little girls. When he had to like take the two little girls with Hermione and what's the other one's name? Oh, God, I forgot. I'm thinking like... I, oh, how Harry I, Potter. I, oh, oh I, I'm, I'm not going to find their names now. Um, Herman and Vermin. Herman and Vermin. I thought that God. was hilarious. I really need to read. Thank God my crazy week and a half is over because I need to read more because I'm like, oh, yeah, that was a good part. What was that? It was Herman and Vermin. And it two was little just, girls that they thought were boys, yes. but they were girls. I just thought that that chapter, chapter from start to finish was hilarious Yeah, but did you like where he left them? You know what's going to happen to those I two girls. I didn't like it, but it was so Ian. It was so, there's, it was so there's Ian. There's a bit of like, oh, I'm just going <clears> to <throat> wash my hands of this. Mm-hmm. But let's talk about the other interesting thing. And we sort of talked about this a little bit in the comments, which is that Ian, again, mm-hmm. more of this like, this juxtaposition of like deep, deep tormented soul and like, keep it in your pants, dude. <laughs> am I, am I, you know, am I right or am I wrong? Ian, you ignorant slut. <laughs> I mean, yeah. totally. Well, it's funny because it's like, all of a sudden you go for 100 pages and nothing ever happens with Ian. And then all of a sudden, oh, um, Auntie Claire, can I talk with you for a moment? I find it very interesting that, like, the only, you know, you see Ian with a lot of women, but the only women he really, like, talks to in terms of, like, heart-to-hearts or whatever are Auntie Claire and Brianna. And who knew... That he and Brianna were like this and best buds, and Brianna could tell him things that, like, you know, think she couldn't even tell Roger back sometimes. Yeah, I didn't get well, that. I didn't find that surprising. I mean, I guess it wasn't really surprising. Because they were family. I mean, well, I think, and they, and I think on the ridge, man, what else is there to do? You're with these people 24 7, ew, and sleeping on top of each other in these close quarters. Absolutely. I think it was, um, I mean, I, I'm guessing that it was after they had, like, I think the whole, like, when they went to look at, for, look at the mammoth, that was sort of a turning point in their whole, you know, relationship, and, you know, she sort of became, like, they, they barriers were broken down, and they could confide in each other more. But didn't he tell Marcely the whole story when, when, <clears throat> um... Oh, when Henry Christian was born. Yes. He told her the whole story. How tight was he with her? Huh. I don't know. Ian, I, I think Ian is, like, possibly the most, the best character in this book. Uh, see, now, I think Ian's kind of, and I don't under, I don't know this in literary terms, he's a vehicle. He's, he's a way in which to get <coughs> certain things across that, mm, there's nothing else to do with this. All Ian! Let's is, throw Ian in there. Of all the characters in this book, Ian is the only one that I literally want, like, that makes me laugh hysterically on one page cry hysterically on the next page and want to smack like vigorously on the third page that's it he's just he just gets he just gets under my skin and i don't know why um where else is on my list oh i have to say something that you and i have not discussed Hmm? am i missing something with roger with his calling in life like The two of them lament 24-7 about what Roger's going to do and Roger's calling. And I'm like, you know what? But but, but either just go do it. What are you waiting for? See, you're you're a very Brianna mindset. I don't even understand what the problem is. That's exactly the mindset. I think Roger... Okay, before Roger met Brianna, you know, he had this identity. He's like, you know, Oxford professor or whatever. Then he everything was that, as hell. Well, whatever. But everything that happened to him after that happened to him. Happened because, you know, it didn't it, it he didn't actually, you know, he went through the stones to find Brianna. He he everything he did was was more of a reaction to other things that were done. But I also think that after a while in the 18th century, he was really starting to find himself, really starting to say, you know what? This is what I want. I want to be a minister. You know, I'm going to go. I'm going to do this. And he did. And now he's back. And he's just, to me, I, I, I the Roger parts of this are, are
Okay, we're back for two seconds because something happened. Something happened. We're like going on and on and on and on, and um, it just cut off. So anyway, we kind of can't go back to the past, and you know, <laughs> try to get it better because obviously you, you, you can't are obsessed. Do you are obsessed. <laughs> She's obsessed. So anyway, we'll just say you know we'll be back next week. We're gonna try to do another video, which is sort of what we. We talked about... We talked about the bugs. We talked about the bugs. We talked about Mardina totally, totally bought her ticket. She knew what yeah, she was getting into. I do not feel crash. sorry for her No, and bit. Ian should not feel bad in the slightest, even though he's going to, of course. And that was that was very touching, actually, that he was like, she was like a grandma to me or whatever. But, but, yeah, uh, and, and um, how can I, I... I can't even believe I'm forgetting his name already. Mr. Bug. Oh, Archbug. Arch, 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 Arch. Uh, the whole, like, send my wife in with two guns and then get mad at Ian and make those obnoxious threats. I know, really. Ugh. Um, and anyway, ugh, ugh. ugh. Um, and Tom Christie we talked about. And Tom yeah, Christie, which Tom I told, I was, I was surprised and I shouldn't have been because I should follow the soap opera rule of Outlander, which is that if you don't see the body, they ain't dead. Okay, I, <laughs> here's what's weird. I wasn't surprised at all because you told me way back in, like, Dragonfly, Nobody, unless you see the body, they're never dead. Yeah, I was not. Cool. I knew Tom Parisi wasn't dead. I knew he was coming back, and I love anything with somebody having an, an interest in Claire. Oh, I loved that whole thing. As Jen um, M always says, "Are Jamie and Claire's love is their love going to be tested?" <laughs> well, it was. Because I'm sorry, but don't you think she was sort of a little bit. <laughs> Oh, Tracy, right now you are wrong in what you're doing. She's you just, just witnessed Tracy spoiling. This is a No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Spoiler. So, um, oh, now I've got to read. <laughs> Get out. I'm going to read. All right. Wait. Bye. -bye. So, so we no, let's just let's call it I don't know what happened to the last one. It messed up. It stopped. I don't know why. Um, but we'll, we're actually going to try to do a little celebratory video next week for the very special day of May 1st, which would be the birth, the birth of, of our, our laird. laird. <laughs> okay. So we'll be back next week. Um, keep your fingers crossed. This is the first community. <laughs> Here's another one. Say, say hi. 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 Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Don't like my children being on the internet. The <laughs> there you go. Okay. All right. Um, have a great week. We'll see okay. you next week. Let us know if you want us to oh, that's talk about said. anything. Yeah. If you have any questions that you want us to, or things you want us to talk about, yeah. let, let, let us know on the blog, blog and, we'll and we'll hit it next week. Dude, okay. come on. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's all. And, and that's I have great. to go. Why did I feel like there was one more thing. Hello. Well, we talked about. <laughs> I, I, we have a blooper reel that I told her she should put in. All right. Bye. We got to go. Yeah. All right. We'll Bye. see you later. Bye. Bye. My hair looks so Jersey, it's not even funny. I, 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 I. What? You're not on <laughs> camera. You're not on camera. I am on camera. Yeah, but you're not supposed to care right, that you're on camera. camera. What? Okay, what should I say? It's the blooper reel. Johnny, ready to go? Yep. Oh, I need some. See, what we should do with the blooper reel is talk to us. Now we can interview other people. John, how much do you hate us doing all of this? <laughs> there you go. Why don't you ask Tom? Because he's asleep. <laughs> um. Yeah. So that was good, but I feel like, first of all, I never even explained what I'm doing in this. All right, I'm not. I'm not taking rest of this. No.